at this scene. Hello? Yes, are you a Muslim, my friend? Uh, yes, I'm a Muslim, alhamdulillah. All right, so we are talking about the light of Allah. This is our uh, topic for today. Extinguish uh, the light of Allah. The Quran says they try to extinguish the light of Allah. Oh, because my friend told me that that, uh, that I could join and talk about the Bible. Oh, you can. You want to talk about the Bible? No, I just want to talk about. Uh, I want to clear up a misconception, actually, more than debate or talk about it. No problem. But you That's see, fine. but you see the actually what you, by mentioning the Bible, you just get us a, a, a good, uh, let us say, a good connection because the light of Allah is the Bible too, isn't it? Allah is the one who sent the Bible. Uh, the 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 God in the Bible. Uh, I mean, if you want to talk it technically, the attributes in the Bible are not mentioned. Uh, in the Bible, it's a triune God in the Quran, and it isn't. But, yeah, but, most, the, the but, this, is not, but this is not the, 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 what I'm saying now. I'm saying if Allah, he sent his light and the light of Allah, they try to extinguish it. Is it Allah is the one, according to Muhammad and according to you, according to your Quran, is the one who sent the Bible, the Injil? Yeah, yeah, but that's not the topic I want uh, to, or the question that I'm going to bring up, uh, really, to be honest. Yeah, but you see here, yeah. we have a very weird thing, because the Quran, when the Quran says, they try to distinguish, distinguish the light of Allah, and Allah will never allow it. And then we find the Muslims saying that the Bible is corrupted, but isn't it the Bible is from the light of Allah, supposedly, and the Torah too? But, yeah, but I'm, uh, I'm going on the premise that the Bible is true, but I'm bringing you a different uh, question, to be honest, different from the topic itself, because I wasn't yeah, aware so of the topic. Why, why are you not I, trying to think with me for a second? You are trying. You are just focusing on a question you have in your mind, but yeah, because, like, you, don't uh, wanna, no, you don't want to think with me for a second. I'll focus you, because my question is really small and really quick to get okay, over. Go, go ahead. I'll ask you. Yeah. So, and, uh, so Deuteronomy 18.18 is talking about Jesus, right? I don't know. You tell me. Uh, assuming uh, Christians use this as a way that they that the Old Testament prophesies Jesus, hmm. uh, and that a prophet will rise among uh, among your fellow Israelites, hmm. uh, they, they use this as a way to prove that Jesus will rise as a prophet among the Israelites. Hmm. Uh, correct. Uh, well, it for is me, correct. for me, my friend. The Bible yeah. have have hundreds of prophecies, all of them they fit with Jesus. Yeah. And even if, even if this one is about Jesus or not, that not will change nothing. But go ahead, I'm listening. Yeah, but this one is about Jesus. I mean, because I'm, the I'm Christians listening. I'm, I'm listening. Okay. Hmm. Uh, this one does talk about Jesus, and there are many other verses, as you mentioned, that do talk about it. Hmm. So when but, Jesus but is Jesus, but, Jesus, to... but Jesus is not mentioned by name there, right? Yeah, not by name. Okay. Not by name. Just yeah. to make it clear, so okay, Jesus, continue. Yeah, so Jesus has been prophesied to rise as a prophet among their fellow Israelites in the Old Testament. Okay. So going off this premise, uh, Jesus uh, in the Christian doctrine is a, a prophet, a Messiah, and God, hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, hmm. so in Luke, if we want to go off that premise, in Luke 13, 33, it says, No prophet can die outside of Jerusalem. But mm -hmm. as as far as my, uh, as far as I'm aware, in Matthew and the Gospel of John, it says that Jesus did die outside of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. what the, I want to clear up that misconception. Yeah, my friend. First of all, out of Jerusalem, there's a, there is the when we say uh, I am from Jerusalem, doesn't mean I am exactly in Jerusalem, uh, because Jerusalem is a city and there is a province of it and whatever is around it. And if you go and see where the cross is located, you will see this is in Jerusalem. So it is inside. Jerusalem in the same time it is not inside Jerusalem which means it's not behind the walls uh, so like there is an area it's called Jahannam Jahannam is where they are used to throw uh, dead bodies uh, even garbage or etc that's what the Quran take from the word Jahannam so but this is this is part of the uh, part of the town and the so same in the, in, the, in, the, in the same time my friend in the same time uh, when the Bible describes Jesus as a prophet, for God is the first prophet. Maybe maybe you do not know that. Do you understand that God is the first prophet? God is the first prophet. Yes. Okay. So and, and when Jesus is a, when Jesus is a prophet, because simply all the prophecy is coming from God. Yeah. So God he prophesied to his a prophet. The prophet here, the, the the average one we know, which is not God, you know, one like the human like me and you, is the one who been taught by God. 
to tell the prophecy which is coming from God, correct? Yeah, yeah. correct. Okay, so what is now, what is it, what's your problem? So the problem here is that you've presented me a contradiction, uh, man. Oh. Because when you say he also died inside and outside of Jerusalem, that's when it becomes a contradiction. Because biblically, when Jesus was referring to Jerusalem, he was referring it to, to as a city, not as an area or a region. But well, in it's, a, it's a city. It's, when, I say, when I say a region, my friend, I don't say, I'm not talking about 10,000 uh, uh, miles away. We are talking about yeah. the same city. It's still the same city. But he did outside. No, he died outside no, the city. No, it's not. He did. No, I mean, according to your scholars, he did die outside My the friend, city. Whoever scholars they can say, but this is part of the city. When you when they want to kill somebody, where, where the court was? Uh, the court of the Pharisees. Yeah. No, the, yeah, the court of the uh, Roman. This is the Roman court. Yeah. Huh? Uh, inside Jerusalem. Okay. And where he was arrested? Inside Jerusalem, but when and, he died, and where, where where they took him? They took him outside Jerusalem. Yeah, if we if we go right now in the map, if we go right now in the map and see what is the distance between yeah. the palace and the cross location, how many hundred kilometer it is? I mean, yeah, my friend, this is a this is a failure. This is a failure attempt. This is a failure attempt from you. No, but let me speak. I no, I'm, I'm you. letting you to speak. So I'm asking you how far it is. From the place where the court happened to the place where the yeah. cross happened, and then we will find a very okay. short distance to the point they are walking. Right? They they, they, they took our trucks and uh, uh, walk, yeah. they walk. Right? So it's a walking distance. Is that in Jerusalem or it is in different place? Technically, it is not wa a walking distance. It's not it's up to you. It's not up to you to say to me. It's not up to you to say. Okay, I will go with you. I will go with you. It's not up to no, you. No, no. I will, I will use to... your logic. No, it's not up to me. It's up to what the Bible says. It's not up to you. So listen of carefully. Yeah. Okay. So listen. When Muhammad he says Allah he sent uh, Muhammad to Mecca and what is around it, is Pakistan around it? Is Pakistan around Mecca? Mm -hmm. uh, no. But okay. is Pakistan inside? Mecca? I will go. No, I will go with your logic. And you are okay. saying to me, if Jesus he died one mile away from yeah. the from the court, that will not make him die inside Jerusalem. But when yes, Allah because... say, okay, hold on. Uh, when Allah he said, Allah he sent Muhammad to Mecca and what is around it. Is that make Muhammad bring in a contradiction or confirming himself to be a prophet for all mankind? No, what Muhammad here was using is the language of the Arabs when he was saying around Mecca. But in, oh. in the Bible, so, it's around. So when, when, well, hold on, okay, wait, 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 here you see the hypocrisy. The here you point, see the hypocrisy. Mean, Listen carefully. No, so when, me, when the Quran, when the Quran, Quran okay, hold on. How do you know that the Quran is meaning when we say around Mecca, it does not mean around Mecca, it means Pakistan. How do you know that? Yeah. I'll, I'll respond to that when you let me respond to the second point that you made about Jerusalem. Mm. So when the Bible says that uh, no prophet can die outside of Jerusalem, you can say that this was meant metaphorically or not not literally, but you have no proof for that. First now, when you my, say that, first of all, my uh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. You don't understand the verse because if you are saying, do you agree with it that no prophet should die out of uh, Jerusalem? Uh, not necessarily I agree with it, but okay. according to the biblical narrative, right. Jesus is not a prophet, nor he died outside, okay. uh, nor he died. Because can, you read for me he the, died, can, you, can you read for me the verses you mentioned? Luke 13, 33. Okay, read it for us. Read it for you, okay, fine. Uh, okay, no, that's Deuteronomy. Uh, in any case, I must press on today and tomorrow and the next day, for surely no prophet can die outside of Jerusalem. Hmm. And what happened? He died, he died outside of Jerusalem. Read the verse after. Read the verse. After it? Yeah, you said you die. He died outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, right? Jerusalem. Okay, did you we ask? Did, the did, you ask did you ask? Did you ask him what is Jerusalem for him? I mean, Jerusalem, according according to you, Jerusalem is also outside of Jerusalem. But I'm saying Jerusalem, Jerusalem is a city. Jerusalem, my friend. You know, you see here. Here we see the 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 the, the, the like the game. So when we, want, when we want, <laughs> when we want, we understand that Mecca went around it mean even Pakistan. When we want that if a mile away from the middle of Jerusalem, not even from the wall of Jerusalem, that is not Jerusalem. This is your, this is your logic. Technically, he did send a message to Mecca and 
found it. He sent a message to the whole world. So there is no problem. No, it says here. You send it first. Yes. Okay, I will go with you. Uh, 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 you have your Quran with you? Uh, yes. All right. Uh, when you say that Allah, he sent him to Mecca and to the whole world. Isn't it the Quran says we never send a messenger except to speak the tongue of his own people? Yes, to speak the tongue of his own. Okay, so now we have a verse saying that to Mecca and what is around it. And we have other verse saying yeah. that we never send ever. And this is sent to Muhammad himself, which means Muhammad is included. We never send a messenger unless he speak the tongue of the people. So he might make it clear for them. Do I agree with that? Well, how are we going to reconcile that with we sent uh, Muhammad as a mercy to mankind? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, are, aren't, people However, of Mecca, when you say aren't, aren't people of Mecca from mankind or they are just different species? Yeah, every, everyone is from uh, everyone on earth is from mankind. Okay, but so, I don't know how. So your answer, your answer, your like answer. No, here, here we see, here we see you are trying to find a contradiction. So if Jesus, he died one mile away. From the court, that does not make him yeah. die in, in Jerusalem. This is your opinion. Now, when we find the Quran saying that Allah He sent Muhammad to Mecca and what is around it, and then we find the Quran confirm that He never, ever, ever sent the messenger except from His people. And look with me, the word "people" there. He have to be from the people, and he, the message have to be in the tongue of the people. So, if Muhammad He sent, He was sent. He have to be yeah. sent to his people and his people, not even the Arab, they are Quraysh. And he have to speak okay, in the I mean, tongue of Quraysh. And here we confirm that Muhammad, he claimed that he received seven Quran. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Seven Quran. Is that because people of Quraysh, they speak seven, Quran, seven Arabic? No, because people around him were speaking. Uh, okay. Dialect. So look what happened now. Your prophet himself saying that even the Arab, are not Arab. The Arab, they need seven Arabic language. They are totally different. Seven Arabic because they cannot handle it. If, if it's the same, then why we need to make seven Quran? So now we have a prophet who was sent to Mecca and what is around it. And suddenly Mecca and around it became Pakistan, India, China, G Germany for you in your logic. Same time, Allah will never send the messenger unless he speaks the tongue of the people and his people are Quraysh. He is from Quraysh. He speaks the tongue of Quraysh. And now yeah. suddenly that the tongue of his people is Pakistan for you. In the top of Actually, that, this... Muhammad, he claimed that Allah, mm -hmm. when he sent the Quran, he sent it in one Arabic. But he said to Allah, that doesn't work because my people are, they cannot handle it, which is very stupid to say. And I will let you explain that to me if you want, if you wish. Okay. So they cannot handle it. So he insists to receive seven. And now we okay. go back to the Bible. So Jesus, he walked 500 meters away or one mile away from the court. That make him out of Jerusalem? Uh, yes. Hmm. How how that work with you? You see your hypocrisy? Because I'm going by the Bible, biblical verses. No, so both of them, no they are saying the same thing. No, you know, you see, when you say I'm going yeah, by biblical... Okay. No, 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 you see, okay, you see, you see here... Uh, when, when, when I say to you uh, uh, that the Quran was sent to the people of Mecca and what is around yes. it, in a two second, you switch the world to what is around it to be even Pakistan. I said we could go by that logic and there would be no problem, but you proved that there would no, be a what, problem what, and what I'm going to solve it what for you now. What logic? How, how you solve it? Go ahead. Okay, so when you said, you mentioned me this verse, uh, we did not send any messenger ex uh, except speaking in the language of his people state uh, clearly for them, right? So when you say that, hmm. uh, when when a prophet, when Allah says, well, what's around Mecca, obviously it would not mean outside uh, Arabia because uh, that would mean that the prophet was speaking in other languages. But reconciling that with this verse, it could mean that the city is around Arabia or inside Arabia because he would be speaking in their language. Now I want to see you defend the Bible. No, here, here, hold on. You see, no, you see, I, I already answer you because you, this is your understanding. It's a silly understanding. It's not true. It's not my understanding. No, this is your understanding. This is your understanding. This is your understanding. Because it's still, this is, this is still, still, this is Jerusalem. Still, this is Jerusalem. Listen, listen carefully. It's not Jerusalem. It is Jerusalem. Because it's not inside the city. 
Well, the city is not just a wall. I'm telling you. I'm it's not up to you. Times. My friend, listen. <laughs> My when friend, you want to defend yourself. I can say now. Listen, I can, I can give, I can give, on. I can give a detail. I say, I can went, I, hold on. I, 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 you're talking, let me answer you. You said to me uh, 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 that it says uh, outside, I, I, I will go with you. I can say now, I went to Washington, D.C. Hmm? But Washington, D.C. is not just by entering the city. I can be in the border of Washington, D.C. I can be a mile inside Washington, D.C. And I can be in the middle of Washington, D.C. So each one of them, he is giving extra detail. So one is saying that the prophet have to die in Jerusalem. The other one saying that he yeah. die in, in, the, in, in that location, which is still for both of them, okay. Jerusalem. How you're understanding this verse is you're using certain terms. How I'm understanding the verses, I'm going to use the terms by your own scholars and uh, historical uh, and narrative. You know, my friend. Now, okay. the same. Uh, okay, okay. Let us make an agreement. Let us make, let make, make an agreement. Let us make an agreement. Let us make an agreement. Me and you. Let us make an agreement. my second I will tell you. I will let you talk. Let us make no, an wait. agreement before we talk about. Before we talk about. Before before we talk about the before we talk about the scholars. I just want to make the second point, please. Do you agree with the scholars? Make two points. I will make you make the point before we talk about scholars. Do you agree with the scholars? Do you agree with the scholars? But you cut me off. Do you agree with the scholars? No, but you cut me off, my Before we talk about those who you call them scholars, do you do we agree with the scholars? So if I show you now a scholar, he says something. Do you promise me you will accept? Uh, and need to accept the scholar's uh, statement. I'm just making the, for the. Oh, so you are using anyone you. you call him a scholar, or anyone call him a scholar, so he don't agree with me. So we okay, use fine. him. Fine. So let's leave the no, scholars no, out of the equation. No, no, hold on. Okay. You see, you see, no. here, here, you are being hypocrite again. Either you are a person who agree with the scholars, whatever who you call them scholars, they are. <laughs> or we don't agree with them. So I've do you, ag that. Do you okay. agree with the scholars? Look, look, do you agree uh, with the scholars or you don't? Uh, I don't. You don't? Why would I agree with them? So why are you all quoting me as scholar? I, me, myself, I never heard of him. I'm quoting you. I'm quoting the scholars for the audience because those are what the people audience? who understand the My Bible. My friend, than you scholar, and me. first of all, when you get a scholar, for us, we don't have a scholar. We have Paul. We have John, we have Luke, we have Mark, we have the disciples. Yes. We don't follow anyone. Anyone, he can say whatever he wants. I can call myself a scholar. You can call yourself a scholar. And here you see the and here you see the hypocrisy. When I mention to you the scholar, you don't want to follow a scholar, but you are the one who is bringing a scholar to prove but your points. Friend, so how you don't accept I, a scholar, but you are bringing me a scholar? I wasn't I wasn't using the scholars term to prove my point. I'm just saying for the audience that there are scholars who understand the Bible better and than there, me and, and you. There is, and there is, and there is a scholars. They are laughing at you and already we answered you. Okay, fine, whatever. Okay. No, no, what, what, do what do you mean whatever? What do you mean whatever? What do you mean whatever? When you when you okay. say to me, when you say to me that Mecca and what around <laughs> it, Mecca and what is around it mean even Pakistan. And then you say to me. A scholar, he said, if Jesus he died 500 meter away from the center of Jerusalem, that, 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 that means this is a contradiction. That is your stupidity. And let me ask you, does the scholar himself, he says this is a contradiction? Does the scholar himself consider this a contradiction? Yes. Uh, not that I'm aware of. He so why are you all quoting from me a scholar? How he is a scholar? He did not see it as a contradiction. Okay, well, I just look at how the scholars. No, the my verse. friend, did are you quoting me for a scholar? He is seeing this is a contradiction, or he is seeing. He is a my friend, my friend. listen, Abdul, listen, Abdul. He, he, why you call him a scholar? Why you call this guy a scholar? Whoever he is. I mean, do you want me to not call him a scholar? I would. I don't know. You call him a scholar. Really? Me. So I'm asking you how he earned the title of a scholar. You said to me, I will quote for you a scholar. So he earned the title of a scholar. That's mean he knew what he's talking about, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Probably from so academic. The scholar uh, from academic, he did not see it a contradiction. How the fool you, you decide this is contradiction. My fool. How did I decide a contradiction? Because yeah. I used my mind and common sense. Okay. And as long you are using you know, your you... mind, as long you are using your mind with common sense, Allah He sent. I never send a messenger except in the tongue of okay. His people. My Listen, friend. this is this is not your logic. Now, don't tell me your logic versus Allah logic. When Allah He says, we never send a messenger. 
without being speaking the tongue and have to be from the people. How this verse will fit that Muhammad is a message for Pakistan? Go ahead. Your logic, I'm going to hear it. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Uh, when you want to make a difference between a message and the messenger, uh, sure, we can draw the distinction here. Oh, guys, but I want to make there's a, there's a, there's a, a difference between, please, there's please, there's please, a difference between a message and can a messenger. Wait, no, 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 we are, we are talking, we are talking. No, 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 let me no, no, respond. I want, I want me people up. to take a note, no, 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 just wait. No, no, no. Guys, take a note. There's a difference between a message. Listen, my friend, my friend, I'm a person, I'm a person, I focus in details. So you said, you just said, you will talk, I will tell you. I have a question for what you said just right away, right now. You said there is a language, you just said, let me talk, answer the question. Let me give you the question, let me give you the question. How you want to answer before the question comes? So how the messenger, how they distinguish between the messenger and the message? I am not done speaking. You need, I was going to answer your question, but you cut me off. I will not let you continue. You speaking. see, for me, I, I am focus in details. I am, I am different Hold from on. others. You I am know not that. speaking. Indian boy, I'm listen, not I'm not asking speaking, you. My friend. I am not you done just, speaking. You gave me information. Wait, I want you to explain it to me. Wait, I don't wait. I, I am not done speaking. I did speaking. not understand. Wait, listen, I want you to explain. How we can distinguish between the messenger and the message. Go ahead. Okay. If I will explain it if you let me speak, okay? Go ahead. The first point, that, which is that uh, I just recently made, and the second point, uh, before I start No, 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 stop with the first one. Then we go to the second one, one by one. How we can distinguish wait, between wait. the message and the messenger? How do you get to make two points, but I don't? One by one, you have to explain to me. I did not understand the no, first point. You, didn't, you, you didn't are the teacher. A you are the, you are the teacher. You made a poo, poo You just made a poo, -poo and you, don't want, you want to cover it. So before but, you listen. go to point number two, we will go. We have time. I will stay with you until tomorrow. So the first point you made, can you please explain it to us, please? You are the genius. How we okay, can distinguish? Do, how we yeah, can yeah, distinguish yeah, sure, between sure, the sure, message sure, and the sure. messenger? Go ahead. Sure. Before I do that, you keep deflecting your arguments against Islam and not actually defending the Bible. Second things, the message uh, can be understood by a lot of people, but the language it has to be, uh, to be spoken on. Yes, when you want to send a messenger to people, of course it has to be the language you're speaking in. You're not going to send an English-speaking messenger to an Arabian city and speak uh, English with them. No, you're going to send an Arabic uh, uh, message that can be understood by all uh, all, all mankind. Mm. Why? Through different means. Why? What do you mean? Why can it, why you can can it send be understood? Arabic. Uh, did you just say you, you should send a message yeah. can be understood by all mankind? Yes, a message can okay. be understood. So how a person who do not know Arabic, he can understand when the Quran make it clear, that we order we to make it clear for them, we are sending it in their mess, in their language, and the prophet himself, he have yeah. to be from the people. That's why I made a distinction between the message and the messenger. The message can be understood through different means. It was never, uh, uh, how do I say it? So it was never limited to one language. It was translated to other languages is that too. What, is, that what, have... is that what the verse is saying? Well, the verse saying is that we are going to send a messenger to people speaking their own language. Yes, and that verse what, has, what did is not disagree. What is, that, what is that language? Uh, it could be any language the people are speaking. You are a liar, We're going to send a messenger you, you are to a li speak You as are well. a liar. You are a, prof you, you are a professional liar. Is it the Quran says we send it as a pure Arabic? I'm telling you about this verse and what, the messenger. Yeah, Listen I, you, to me. I ask you what I is the language. You are, I ask you what the is language. the language of the message. You said to me it can be translated to any language. Well, the language of but the Quran the, is Arabic. The Quran, no, it's not, it's not only the language of the Quran is Arabic. It's not that you are a, you are a fraud. It's, it says it clear here. We send it with, with the Quran have no foreign words in it. Quran and Arabian, Chapter said that. 39, verse number 28. So you just but, say to me, you just say to me uh, something, you are making fun of the Quran. You are ex extinguishing the light of I'm Allah. Not. Look what happened. So now we I, have we have differentiate between <laughs> the message and the messenger. Shut up for a second, please. And I will let you talk. And we will talk to both of us. <laughs> okay. So we distinguish between the message and the messenger. Okay, let us distinguish. But the verse saying. We will ne we never send a messenger except from the people, from the people. Why? So he speak the tongue of the people. So now we have connection. We can yes. separate them. So the prophet have to be from the people because he should speak their own origin, clear language. Of course. Yeah. Of course thank yeah. you. And then and then when I ask you how that will work to be for Pakistan, he said we can translate. Yes. 
But the verse says, no, Allah will not send the messenger <laughs> to a people. Listen, let us connect. He will not send the messenger to any people, except if he is okay. from the people. Does it say that, or I'm making things my up? Friend, my friend, what I said, that we're not going to send a message to any people, but unless they're going to speak that language, I said, depends on the language these people speak. If God wants to send a, a message to Americans, he would have to speak English. Of course, I'm not okay. disagreeing with So did Allah, send the did, Allah, the message, did Allah send Quran to people of Pakistan in their language? <clears throat> Uh, uh, no, but it's not limited to Arabic. It can be translated. Hold on. The message. You see, you, I, I don't know who is the stupid here. You call me, and you suppose you are smart, and now you are making bigger uh, yes, people. So hold on. Where here it says, where here it says that when Allah He said we never send. That means never, never, never happen. Even for Muhammad, never, never send. Are you to, reading the verse? To, hold on. Yes, I'm reading the verse. It's talking about a messenger, not the message. No, he's Open talking about eyes. the message and the messenger, and you are a fraud. It's in front no, of you. <laughs> okay, no, read it. Okay, can you read it for us? Can, can, you read, the can you read it for us? Read it. Go ahead. Okay. And we did not send any messenger except speaking in the language of his people to state clearly for them. And Allah sends astray there by whom he wills and guides whom he wills. And he okay, is wonderful. exalted in my life. Okay, so yeah, he's talking about when, the, when the messenger, he spoke the message, did he speak it in the language of the people? Yes. To make it what? To make it clear. Do we agree? Yes, to make it clear. Okay. So if when Muhammad he spoke in Arabic, he made it clear to the Arab, but he did not make it clear to the Pakistani. Yes, but we can make it clear to the Pakistani by okay, translating. Okay. So you are message. saying now that you are fixing the logic of Allah. Allah was a I'm not fool. fixing the logic. No, but, but, but you just said we. we no, I'm not telling you. You that. just said. Did you I'm, just I'm say, you. you just can't. said. You just said that Allah. You know, you are you are not only make, making fun of Allah. You are saying Allah is not God. He's a liar because you just said we will make it clear to the Pakistani. So look, but the Quran saying Allah will but never Allah send the message. He's making it clear for the, the Arab. one yes. who said. The one he's who making said. Making it clear for the Arab. To the Arab, exactly. Are you an Arab? Yeah, 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 exactly. So if are he's making an, it clear to the Arab, what prevents Arab? us to translate the message to other an, people? Are you an Arab? Yes, I'm an Arab, alhamdulillah. They speak to me in Arabic. Assalamu uh, alaykum wa rahmatullah. What does that mean? It means it's uh, peace be upon you. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. I mean peace upon you. Peace, peace, peace be upon you, yes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I mean, uh, peace be upon you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So listen. Uh, but this is not, I mean, you don't speak to me in Arabic. Uh, can you talk to me in Arabic? I mean, this one, this sentence, anyone know it? Shaykh Barak. Alhamdulillah. What do you do? I'll talk to you. What do you do? ما اشتغل انا في المدرسه عمري 17 سنه اه اوكي هذا صغير <تصفيق> صديق صغير سو <تصفيق> ليسن so سو so, so as long you are a صغير not big uh, when allah okay. he said when allah he said we never send a message except to the by the tongue of the people yeah he, he mentioned a messenger. He, he mentioned the word a messenger and the message in message is the messenger too because the messenger he will deliver a message that's why he's called a messenger don't you agree Yes, he's saying a messenger will speak the tongue of his people state yeah. clearly so for when, them. When it See, says, okay, it so, so what, did Allah send Muhammad speaking the tongue of Pakistan? Obviously, you agreed. You said no, right? Yeah. And you said, we, his, and you said, and you said, that, and on. you said, we will make it clear. You said. I said we'll make the message clear. Yes. Okay, for so other it's people. not There's Allah. No problem so it's that. not Allah who made it clear. It's not Allah who made it clear. Yeah, you said you, you will make it clear. He made it clear for the Arabs, for us, and it's my duty to spread the religion, yes? No, this is not the case. It says here, who is, it is, who, my duty, who is the one, hold on, hold on, who is the one who will make it clear to the people, Allah or you? In this verse, Allah will guide whom he wills, yes. This is not the question. Who what? is the one who will make the message clear, Allah or you? Depends on the decree of Allah. If he wants to make it clear for them, he would. But am I... That is depending on the decree of Allah. The okay. The decree of Allah is in front of you. Allah, he sent it. He said, I will never have an exception. 
This is a decree, correct? Allah never said he will never have an exception. Well, the front, if you read it, it says we never have sent a messenger ever. We did not send any messenger except in speaking the language of his people to state so clearly this is his for decree. them. Yes. His, decree, his, is, de his decree is that the message have to be in the language of the people and the messenger have to be from the people in order to what? To make it clear to them. Them who? Those who speak the language, correct? Of course, if someone wants okay. to read the Arabic or uh, No, it's not of course if somebody wants to read Arabic. This is what it is. So now Allah, he confirmed them, which means anyone he want to send him a message, whoever them is, he will send through two ways. Number one, the messenger have to be from the people. Number two, he have to speak the language of the people. It's not you who will make it clear. No. And uh, by the way... Yes or uh, no? What do you mean? I did not hear you. No, uh, I agree with you. And by oh. the way, I'm just going to make it clear. Yeah, but, that, this, but, this, uh, but this is mean what you said to me is a fraud. Okay, and now let me ask you, as long you can make no, the Quran, I, as I, long you can make the Quran clear to us, can you explain to us chapter number one, verse number one? Chapter, sorry, uh, chapter of a Najim, verse number one. One, number one? Yeah. Surah Al-Fatiha, you mean? No, and Najm. Surah Al-Najm. By the stars when they fade away. Okay, what does that mean? Explain it to me. By the stars when they fade away, when the stars fade away from the sky. What does that mean? Uh, you're asking me to give you a meaning of something so simple. You like see, it's, you're, you're okay, you, guys, you. it's so simple. Didn't he just say so simple? Okay, so simple. What does it mean? It means the stars will fade away. What does that mean? What, what does, what does, okay, so you want me to define when the stars fade away? When you look at the what sky, stars, have you yeah. ever heard of a star fading away? What does that mean? In Arabic, first of all, it says, you claim to speak Arabic and you don't. When najmu ida hawa, hawa mean fell down. Oh. No, it says, it, uh, Your fellow is neither let, misguided let the, nor let the, is... let the guy no, I mean, let, I... let the guy next to you speak to me. He's I mean maybe he's a smarter. Let him help. Let him join you. Uh, he could call you if he wants. He's from a different uh, side. But to, uh, and the translation says by the stars when they fade away. I never read the Arab. Okay. okay. But so, in other translations. So, but says hold on. You are the one who said to me. You are the yeah. one who said to me that we Arab we can make it clear to them in Pakistan, right? Uh, yes. Can okay. I gave you just a little. I gave you three words, and you failed. Yeah, but that's not the whole thing. Huh? You're uh, you're showing one part, but I'm asking you the message as a whole is submitting to God. No problem. And that is if the first sentence you could not understand, we can go to the second no, I one. Understand. But how we can go? Like I mean, shouldn't we open the door of the car before we start driving? You failed to but, open the door. The car, of the car of the. So oh, listen. So. I ask you, when Allah he says, when najmu ida hawa, what does that mean? You have no when idea. Najmu ida hawa. Huh? No, you asked me. You told, you told me to read the verse, and I told you, when the stars fade away. Where, I do understand where it what says, it means. Where it says, it when, when the, the stars, stars fall down. Where it says in Arabic, when the stars fade away. I'm asking you, where it says that. But that's in what the, the translation. What, trans oh, what the word hawa mean? You see, okay, hold on. Okay, you didn't guys, ask me. You guys, didn't ask hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you just said, you just said, this is what the translation yes. saying. So you could not understand it in Arabic. So you went to the English to understand it now. No, no. You asked me to read it. You didn't tell me to read it in Arabic. I'll I read it in Arabic. Asked you, uh, no, it I asked you what it does it mean. I did not ask you to read it in any language. I said, what this verse mean? I said to you, go to chapter and Najm, verse number one, and tell me what does it mean. So now you could not it understand it in okay. Arabic, so you went to the translation. I know, I know what it means. I literally told you what it no, means. No, you said to me when the stars you, you told me when the stars fade away. There's no such thing there. Where it says they fade away? What the when word? The the what the word hawa mean? It could mean uh, disappear, or it could mean descend, or it could mean fade away. Ah, uh, hawa mean this uh, mean this uh, uh, went away. Uh, how I think uh, way I use means disappear. <laughs> so listen, so look what happened now. Yes. We can explain the Quran to people who they are in Pakistan because we understand the message. Yes. 
but we could not understand two words in the message. No, we don't understand it. How can you say I don't understand it? I okay. just told you what it means. Okay, hold on. Are you are you saying that your God Allah did lie? Yeah, no, he didn't lie. Okay, so when Allah he said nobody understand the Quran save Allah, are you saying to me that you understand the message when Allah is the only one who understand the Quran? Uh, no, Allah says there are verses which he only understands. Okay, why only him would uh, understand? Because they were supposed to be revealed at uh, uh, Judgment Day. Oh, but he revealed it now. Uh, they, they, we call them with the shabby hat, and this is not something we deny. Okay, uh, my friend. Yeah. Allah, he said, I never send a message except by the tongue of the people to the people in order to make it clear. And now you are saying to yes. me, Allah, he sent the message. It's not clear. No, he sent the message that we're not supposed to know the meaning of. There is a difference. Hmm. There is a part of the verse where, where, it's with the where, hat. It, where it says, to... where it says, these verses we understand their meaning in the judgment day. Can you show me? I want to learn from you. We will understand the meaning at judgment day. Yeah, you just say that to me. I might be wrong, but that's what I heard. So, are you wrong or right? Uh, that uh, we. Uh, what I'm not wrong me, about. Are you giving that... me a fabricated answer? Because when you say I might be wrong, you, that's mean you are answering without knowledge. Uh, not necessarily. What does that mean? I just want to confirm my. I want to just want what, to confirm what does my that knowledge. Mean? Not what necessarily. I, maybe the band. This is your answer. No, I just. I so said I want to confirm says, my and knowledge. Look what, the, look what the Quran says. Just to show you that you're ignorant, like your prophet. It says, and those who they are the ulama, hmm, those are the one who say we believe, not the one who understand. Sorry, repeat that. I was looking for the evidence. The verse says, and none knows its interpretation save only Allah. And those firmly noted in knowledge, they say, we believe. So a Muslim scholar in Islam is not the one who know the meaning. is the one who say, I believe. Yes, but I'm telling you. There's so you are now a scholar. Hold on. Look what, look what happened. When we spoke about, you, you mentioned to me scholars. And I asked you, is a scholar, is somebody who knew what he's talking about? Is, is, hold on, hold on. You said to me, a scholar is someone he knows what he's talking about for sure. I said, wonderful. But now in Islam, you are a scholar, you as a scholar, because you do not know. This is what the Quran is saying. Yeah. Those who oh, they uh, are firmly listen, in knowledge, I, those who they are firmly <laughs> in knowledge is the one who say we believe, but we do not know the meaning. Bro, listen, that's all what I'm saying. I'm telling you there are verses where I'm with the hat where only Allah knows the meaning of. It's not that he sent it to confuse us or anything. He told us that only Allah knows the meaning of. He told us that only him who knows it. He's not okay, okay he hold, on, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. You see, when I when I mentioned to you that Allah, because I'm trying to make you, I'm, I'm trying to help you to understand. When Allah, he says, we never send the message, message except in the tongue of the people. And then you said to me, you continue reading the second part, and you said, and yep. Allah, he deceive who he will, and he guide who he will, correct? Uh, which verse? Chapter 14, verse number 4. Misguides who he wills, not deceives. He, he what? He misguides who he wills and he guides who he guys, wills. Guys, he misguides. He corrected me. Thank you for correcting me. My my Arabic is not good. Thank you. So guys, he misguided. He did not this this uh, deceive. So now we knew why Allah sent the Quran. Allah he sent the Quran to make it clear to them in order to deceive them as he will, and to guide them as he will. That's, so, that's only so, your conclusion so, of it. Not, this is not my opinion. The verse saying that no. you are the one who that's said you are the, you are the one who you, you, you are the one who jumps supposed to correct me. And you said to me, no, Allah, he don't deceive. He misguide. What does that mean? No. Deceive. I'm telling you, my friend, is that Allah can do whatever he wills. I don't deny that. However, you asked me about these mutashabihat verses. I'm telling you, Allah did not deceive us there, did not confuse us. No, he no, told no. us that these verses, okay. he only knows them. Like Alif Lam Mim. Ah, ah okay. Uh, no, oh, I get Alif Lam Mim. Ah, okay, okay. But this is not the question now. Listen, I'm connecting the two together. No, this is the question. When, when Allah, when Allah, he misguided. You are the one who used the word misguided. You are the one who corrected me, correct? You said misguided. Uh... That's what the verse says. He misguides okay. whoever so he wants. According yes, to I, you, I am misguided, correct? 
According to me, it's mis uh, misguided. That's what the experts who translate the Quran say. No, no, no. According to you, I am, I am, I am misguided. Correct? According to me, you are misguided. Yeah. Uh, I do believe so. You are misguided. Yes. Okay, but according to you, the one who misguided me is Allah. No. You are the one who said to me, the one who misguided is Allah. Allah misguides who He wills. Allah. Yeah. There so is are no you proof. saying to Allah me? Will. Are you saying to me, uh, Allah, it's not Allah will who mis misguided me? No, I'm telling you, Allah misguides who he wills. If okay, he wants so to I'm misguide, you, when I am, do so. I am misguided, who misguided me? If you are misguided, who misguided you? You, my friend, there is no Allah misguided. There are certain people who Allah who will misguide, as it says in where the verse. In the verse it says, where in the verse it says, there is certain people left, it says, there is two people. misguide. Listen, who potato, he will. listen, potato. Listen, it says, Allah, he misguide, according to you, misguide, not deceive, who he will, and guide who he will. There's no third party. So the whole world is between two. No. Either the one misguided by Allah or the one who is guided by Allah. Are you against the verse now? Listen, listen. Ever heard of the analogy that I can lead a horse to a puddle of water, hmm. but I can't force the uh, horse to drink water. No, That's you can. literally the best No, you way can. I can no, you it. can. You do not know your religion. Obviously, you have no idea what are you talking about. When a person no, he I'm have when, you, a, is, when a person this is literally what it when, is. A, when a person he have sex, did he it choose does. to have sex and fornication? Is it his choice? Uh yes. So your prophet he did lie because your prophet and I put the hadith for you in the screen. No, it I did says not lie. Had, I believe in compatibilism. It says if this had, is about Nation and uh, free will. I know. I believe in compatibilism. It's both by the, the decree of Allah, but that's a different topic. No, it's not a different topic because it is, is the one who did. Uh, this is very important topic. Are you saying no, to me that the one who do pornication only is that one is uh, for sure misguided by Allah? Uh, I again. I said I do believe in compatibilism, and that's not the topic. We have what is compatibilism? What does that mean? I'm asking you. The one who did fornication. Please, I it want means an, when, no, I want, means an, I divine, want an answer when a person uh, commit fornication. Is that because Allah, he forced him I'm or gonna it was a choice? To you. I'm going to explain it to you. It's okay. when the person's free will is compatible with God's divine determination. So when we believe that everything is determined by Allah, but we believe that is compatible with our uh, uh, free will. What does that mean? Like you want me to go over a philosophical study of compatibilism? Uh, you a, you, because I, I can tell you are a philosopher. So uh, when, uh, to, just to make it simple, you are genius, my friend. So when somebody had sex with women, she is not his. Did he have a free will to do it? Yes. What is the proof? The proof is uh, like from the Quran. I have a front in front of you. I have a proof in front of you. Your prophet yeah, explained. I told you, I do. We, we in the Islamic doctrine, we do affirm compatibilism. This is not true. I don't see the this that. is not. This is not true. You are a liar. Your prophet saying, no. "Verily, Allah have fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in, in which he has of necessity must commit." Does it say you cannot com commit or you must commit? He, yes, he is not asking you to commit or not commit. No, 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 it's not, it's not. I don't get the question. He is asking. forcing you to commit. Is that correct? He is forcing you. Necessity must commit. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Uh, Does it say must commit? I told you. Does it say must commit? I told you I believe in divine. Uh, I don't care who you believe. Your prophet, your prophet is talking. You shut up and you respect him. He said you must commit. Explain to me the must commit part. Oh, you're quoting a hadith, right? So uh, okay, can the, you repeat the hadith? So, sh I wasn't paying sh shall I shall I quote you, or not quote Muhammad? Now you are the prophet. No, no, you're quoting the hadith. I want to know what the hadith says because I didn't uh, hear it's you. It's in front of you on the screen. Go ahead. No, I'm not looking at your uh, stream. I was just I'm I'm looking at you calling. I now. just read it for you. Look on the screen. Why you don't look? Okay. So well, you can see it. We don't want you. I'm not on YouTube. I'm not on YouTube. That's why I don't see the the, the screen. Okay, it says verily really? Allah Muhammad said, verily really Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in and which he of necessity must commit. The adultery of the eye is lustful look, and the adultery of the tongue is lichous speech, and uh, the heart desires and ears which the parts may or may not put into effect. Hmm. So. 
Now, as of that hadith, uh, I cannot explain it to you because I myself, I don't think I can give you a, a, an answer. I don't want to give you the wrong answer or anything. Okay, take care. You just gave me the wrong answer already, and now you don't want to give me the wrong answer because we got you busted? So look at those liars. 